free diving is diving into yourself, diving into your fears. When you descend, it's a steady Physically, you're just ready to panic and you have to tell your body, hey, it's okay. It's not about where you're diving to, it's just about where you are right now. If freedom had a definition, it would be the surface of the ocean. A world that I've always kind of dreamt of. In Soweto, there's the stories that we grow up with about what lives in the ocean and that keeps us away. But there's also the historical aspect of South Africa's oppression. And all we knew growing up is that you just need to stay away from all bodies of water. And that changes the culture of any kind of water relationship that you could have had. The Black Mermaid Foundation's work is to create access to ocean spaces. And everything for me starts with my Dell. It allows me a platform to dream without boundaries. In South Africa, in the corporate world, I was battling with racial issues. I'm battling with boxing of identity. I just need a break. Not fitting in for over 28 years allowed me to find the place where I did fit. Where everything was normal. All of a sudden, you're not too much, you're not weird, you're not anything, because the ocean is quite literally anything you could imagine and everything you can't imagine. It's big enough to hold all of you. From that first moment we were out at sea, I don't think I'd even dive past three meters. It's like, this is it. This is it! And just a knowing that I wanted to teach, I wanted to tell everybody about it. I wanted everybody to feel it. With the Black Mermaid Foundation, we are working to expand and get new partnerships. But essentially, it's about kids having a place where they can be kids. They get to explore and begin to tell new stories about the ocean. I believe that when we see ourselves represented, we begin to believe that we can too. And so what does it mean if we create access that allows us to be able to write a different story, a different possibility, a different space where beaches and surfers and freedivers look like everybody. They look like the ocean. Travel has always been a big part of my life. I always say the more we explore, the more we can share. As long as I have my laptop near me, everything keeps moving. The foundation keeps running, the content keeps going. And with technology, we've become a global village and you find community. And I think that's powerful. Zandi. Lisa, nice Lovely to, to meet, meet you. you. So I hear it's your first time in Oz. Yes. We're gonna be coming on the boat around the back. Yeah. They'll probably anchor around this point. Yeah. Maximum depth there, as I said, about 10, 12 meters. All right. It allows us to hear other people's stories, see other people's stories, explore other people's worlds. I feel like technology gives us a big microphone, right? I come back with the videos and the photos. Every single time when we go out on an excursion, it's an opportunity to show them what to expect when we go underwater, but most importantly, to feel like they belong in the water. All of these moments, untangible if you've never seen it before. And then of course there's plastic. Do we know we have a plastic problem in the ocean? It's a work that just hopes to inspire curiosity, expanding narratives, creating new dreams. And all of a sudden, life is not about the next thing. Life is just about the now.